May it please the Court, I'm Leslie Cooper here with Randall Marshall of the ACLU of Florida. I'm here on behalf of six lesbian and gay couples, the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, AFL-CIO, Equality Florida, and the ACLU of Florida. I'd like to start with a focus on the single subject rule. This amendment violates the single subject rule because it combines two subjects, two separate subjects about which people may hold very different views into one single amendment. First, it says that marriage is limited to the union of one man and one woman. And second, it restricts other ways governments can provide protections well, for Mr. relationships. Mr. Staver has just uh, stated that substantially equivalent means virtually uh, identical and that it would not prohibit the state, should it choose to do so, to grant uh, certain rights to uh, same-sex couples. Right now, legislators are free to define marriage however they see fit, change the law as they have done. Uh, if that goes into the Constitution, uh, it doesn't simply maintain the status quo. It makes a constitutional mandate that legislators can no longer uh, define marriage. But that's, certain true. Ways. that's true with any, uh, any amendment to the Constitution. You know, mm -hmm. it, it restricts so, uh, the legislative action. Isn't that, isn't that right? I think that that's right, but but it's certainly not maintaining the status quo. It is a change uh, in Florida law in that these will be constitutional provisions. Well, but, uh, I mean, for example, the uh, medical malpractice uh, amendments, uh, I mean, goodness knows what those really mean. I mean, we're still debating what all those mean, and, and certainly it changed everything in Florida law from uh, uh, liens to, to who pays fees to what those fees are, and that was considered a single subject, and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with why this is not and why it, it, it is not viewed as having a natural relationship, uh, connection of the component parts as being related, which this court has expressed as the standard. I'm ...saying that that policy of simply providing domestic partner benefits to employees, the most modest of relationship recognitions you can imagine, that was the, quote, equivalent of marriage and therefore violated the statutory DOMA. Um, but, why, but still, couldn't this phrase just as easily be read to mean that uh, a marriage is a union between uh, uh, a man and a woman, and that uh, we don't, we are not going to treat any other relationship as a valid marriage. I mean, that's really what the amendment says, isn't it? Dilemma that the cases talk about that. Perhaps the you would have a better argument if this said that. Uh, we're going to uh, defend the institution of marriage, and marriage is between one man and one woman, and no statute that gives to same-sex couples any of the rights that a married couple would have will be recognized in Florida, which would seem to me very divergent types of subjects. One is all, you know, marriage between one man and one woman. The other is any of the rights and privileges, uh, which means out of all the panoply, the thousand different statutes, any one of them, and that, I would think, would give the voters, a, you know, divergent choices, but here where it says substantial equivalent, it seems to me it's very close to the marriage part, and so I think you have a more difficult case to say mm -hmm. that there are two subjects involved. It's important that the other side doesn't seem to want to uh, say how many protections short of the full panoply takes you safely outside of this substantial equivalent language. Well, I don't think that, and that's just, again, what we're talking about. If, if, if constitutional amendments were clear and statutes were clear, this court would be uh, going to have a much slower caseload. I mean, it, the fact is, is that even best intentions, you can't figure everything out. And that's what the courts are for to test and to see what the extent of the protection is. And that we know that the polling data confirms that while a majority of people in, in, in Florida... So those people will have to make a decision whether to vote for this or not vote for this. I don't see how that affects whether it is a valid constitutional amendment. And it tries to conceal the, the impact of the amendment beyond marriage by using the substantial... Well, I, think I think you've made that point very uh, strongly this morning. <laughs> Thank you very much for your Thank time you, and for your appearance here today.